I'm going to see if I can renovate the old bumper. There it is. Not in great condition. First of all, you need to get the fog lamps out. It's just a little clip to the side, watch. They just pop out easy. So now I'm just going to get a brush. Brush all this dirt and debris out of here. It's easy. Then I'll put some old um, washing up liquid an old spray, an old Dettol spray thing. So I'm just going to spray it all over there. Like so, inside and out and on the front. And then um, just use a series of brushes or whatever and just give it a good scrub off. You can also use old um, scourers. They give it a deep clean as well with a fairy liquid. Right now you've done that, just um, give it a hose off. Give it a good hose off there. Next stage. Any gouges like that, I'm going to use it's an old off an old disc cutter. Right, but watch. fill these because I'm not going to make too much of a fuss I'm not bothered with an immaculate finish but obviously this has all gone grey and um, discoloured so I'm just getting the ridges off you see that that's all smoothed off so just go around finding any ridges and get them off like that Now I'm going to go over the whole bumper. This is a well, it's been well used, but it's 80 grit paper. And you can see there. And you just go, you don't have to go too mad with it, but the idea is, is to create a bit of abrasion in there to put a key for the first coat of um, etch primer. That's all you want to do, go over the whole lot, is to create a key. Little nooks and crannies. A particular attention in between these little grippy squares. So I'm just giving it a light rub like that, all the way through, and there, along like that. And now you've rubbed it all down. What you want to do is just put some white, uh, well, thinners, cellulose thinners on the rag. And just go over the whole bumper and that should um degrease it and get rid of any waxes etc like that so that's it just go over the whole lot right i've transferred some etch primer into the smaller pot so all, you can thin this down with um, some cellulose thinners it's quite watery at the moment so I'm going to give that a go and all you do look, here you go just normal painting this goes off really rapid this stuff anyway and that's your base coat then and that um, etches into the plastic as it does with galvanised metal and all that sort of stuff special metals where you need special primers yeah not too bad is it so I've just got to go over that whole lot you have it that didn't take long it's not a bad finish I mean there is gouges but I say I'm not too fast it's going to be 100% better than it was um, but um, that's going on it was super rapid that stuff so I'll leave it for about half an hour an hour in the sun and then I'll give it a light um, go over like with a bit of wet and dry paper like really fine grit and then I can spray it then
Right, next stage, you can either use wet and dry or one of these tack cloths. You get a bit like a Brillo pad it is, and you just go round like that, look. And all that does is puts the light key for the top coat, then you just go around the whole lot like that. And the paint I'm using, top coat, is this stuff. Don't know whether it's any good, I haven't tried it, so I'm going to give it a go. I say, I'm just doing a little tester here, as um, just in case it pickles up and it's not compatible with my primer. So. Seems good, so I'm all good to go. Coming along. That's one can so far. I bought two of these cans, so I think that would be sufficient. Don't look bad. Fairly good, actually. So next coat, just go over again with this. You go over like that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow, actually. Let that go off a bit. But you can go over with one of them or like 1,200 grit wet and dry over the whole lot to key the next coat in. But I shall give it one more coat. So two cans of that stuff well sufficient.